Brazil's Supreme Court will begin debating later on whether to decriminalize abortion in South America's largest country. Currently, abortion is only allowed in three cases, rape, risk to the woman's life, and when the fetus has an undeveloped brain. Now, if the country's Supreme Court votes in favor, abortion will be decriminalized up to 12 weeks of gestation. Our South America correspondent, Katie Watson, reports now from Sao Paulo. Three weeks ago, Paloma had an abortion. She doesn't want to show her face, such as the taboo around terminations here in Brazil. She shows me the scans revealing that the baby she was expecting had a rare condition that meant it wouldn't survive birth and could have risked her life too. Therein began a painful process to access a right she thought would be a given. I asked the doctor if my baby would survive, she told me. He said I had to wait for it to be born. The nurse who was with him said the baby's heart was beating, that I'd regret the decision in the future. Through tears, Paloma told them that the choice was hers. Only it wasn't. There are only three cases in which abortion is allowed, rape, when the woman's life is at risk, or in the case of anencephaly, when the fetus's brain is undeveloped. Paloma's case wasn't one of those. She was told, though, that with two supporting doctors, a judge would likely grant a termination. Her doctor refused, and it took six weeks to be granted one, jumping through hurdles all the while. I think I speak for everyone when I say that it was a nightmare, says Paloma. We aren't the owners of our own bodies, are we? It was something that could have been so simple, but they kept prolonging the suffering. This week, much could change. Brazil's Supreme Court will begin voting on whether to decriminalize abortion in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. It comes after Mexico's Supreme Court recently decriminalized abortion across the country. It's estimated that by the age of 40, one in seven women here in Brazil will have had at least one abortion. But while the procedure remains largely illegal, the risk of having a dangerous abortion remains high. Conservative groups are increasingly being challenged by doctors who say this needs to be a public health issue, that women will access abortion regardless, and the priority is keeping them safe. Natalia nearly had an abortion at 21, until her religious mother convinced her otherwise. Milena's 23 and gave birth four months ago, and she's pregnant again, saying that she wants to have as many children as God allows her. Both women are Catholic. They believe that life begins at conception and they actively campaign against liberalizing abortion. They believe the move by the Supreme Court is purely political. We all know that President Lula has a leftist agenda, an abortionist agenda. Feminists defend freedom to abort. The issues of abortion and feminism work together and they're linked to the left. But those at the coalface reject that. Dr. Roberta Cronenberger Santos has dealt with several women who've tried to carry out abortions at home, so fearful they were of the consequences. By the time they arrive at hospital, they're bleeding and infected. We have to understand that it's not a political decision. It's about choices, and we all have a right to choose. The more we talk about it, the more people we will understand. We have never talked so much about women's rights as we are now, talking about this prejudice. All those discussions have come together. Activists from across Latin America have come together on this. It's known as the Green Wave movement, and it's changing everything for women from Mexico to Argentina and many countries in between. Katie Watson, BBC News in Sao Paulo.